Hey guys, uh, this is just a quick follow-up video to my last uh, video about machining the C7 ball screw. At the end of that video, I told you that I didn't have any footage of me um, kind of setting up the collet that I made and the rear spindle bushing, but I just found this footage tonight. Um, it must have been, well, it was placed in the wrong folder, which is why I missed it, and it was mislabeled as well. Um, anyway, I'm not going to edit it or anything. I actually uh, explained it while I was in the shop. So I'm going to cut to that video and audio and, uh, I'll just stop talking now and, uh, hope you enjoy. All right. So here we are at the front with a uh, one inch, uh, call it. Now, uh, mine measure, my screw measures 20 mil or 19 and a half mil, and you can get a 19 and a half mil, um, call it, but they're about 35 bucks. So instead we have the uh, bushing, and uh, it slides on to the screw like so. And then what you want to do is make sure you line up the uh, notches like this. Okay. Okay, and here is the other bushing, which will just slip fit into there. And then by moving this screw up into place, we uh, can hold that bushing in. Now we're just going to turn it 150 RPM, which looks like that. Ready to go.